Hello, welcome to Double Talk. I'm Mark Stephan here on the Coronacast. I'm Michael Mandel. I'm not on the Coronacast. I'm on the other side of the piece of plastic, the plastic cast, and, which I uh, once had when I was a kid. Should we do our reveal? Our review? Reveal. Reveal? Maybe. I don't know. I don't trust this thing, but sure, <laughs> yes. Oh, we are healthy as can be. So if you saw the title of the show, it's the Burnt Fus- Burnt Fuselage. Fuselage, that sounds like a plane crash. And um, I was looking at an old imbibe magazine, and they had this great drink with, uh, with uh, Armagnac. And not many people drink Armagnac. What is it? Like Armagnac Cognac? is uh, the little province just below Cognac, of all places. In France? Yes, and it's a, it's a Rara uh, drink. But we're going to start. So Burnt Fuselage is this variation on the Burnt Fuselage. But the one I have here in the book uh-huh. uh, refers back to a 1920 recipe, which I looked up. So we'll start with the 1920 recipe, which starts with... This is cognac, real cognac. Yes. Well, you know, you talk about fuselage. Uh, airplanes had just been invented in 1920. It was, a, and I bet a lot of them had burnt fuselages because they didn't <laughs> they know how to drive them. <laughs> so we're going to start with this 1920 uh, drink, and then we'll go on to the variation, which I believe is probably going to be a little bit more uh, jaw breaking. Jaw breaking? It's, yes. What it's mean? just going to, because I think it's an ounce and a half of. Uh, Armagnac. Armagnac is stronger tasting than Car- Camus. Oh. Uh, cognac. So, an ounce of this, which is the cognac. And some of our favorite things with cognac is this little bottle of Grand Marnier. Yes. I actually couldn't fit my large bottle into the bag that I bring this with, so luckily I had this handy little one. And was, that, was that a giveaway at a cocktail conference? No, you have to buy these little things. <laughs> Maybe it was. Let's see. So an ounce of that, and I think we have enough for the next drink. So Grand Marnier and cognac. You know, the way I look at cognac is, it's sort of like scotch, except made out of grapes, because it's 40% alcohol, and mm. the taste is like, a little it's bit basically like cooked more. Wine, really, right? Huh? It's cooked wine. Well, is, as isn't opposed it to scotch, which is cooked uh, beer, whatever it's made out of. And uh, an ounce of Neuilly Pratt uh, vermouth. white vermouth. So in a way, this is just a weird, ridiculous. Yeah, there's really no liquor. It's all mixers. No, it's not mixers. Cognac is 40% alcohol. It's a liquor. Oh, okay. I'll give you that one. You give me that one. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> you're a big fan of uh, white vermouth, aren't you? I tend to prefer it over because the sweet vermouth. Just because it's not sweet. Because it's uh, it's what you put in martinis. Yes. So this is like a martini made out of cognac, and well, Grand Marnier makes it a. It's, Grand Marnier is the superior version of triple sec. Yes, it's the orangey uh, liqueur. And if you notice, I'm not shaking the drink. Uh, I'm stirring it because that's what it calls for. A lot of drinks call for stirring, but I really prefer shaking. It's not any quieter than shaking, is it? <laughs> well, no. But you can hear the water swirling. You feel like you're on the beach. You feel like you're on the beach? Don't get too dizzy on the beach. Oh, Where's the girls in bikinis? It's right over there. Oh, oh yeah, there they are. are. That's right. We have studio girls. You know how we have canned time. laughter and cl- canned applause? We have a canned studio girl. <laughs> okay. I think I, it, I I'm think looking forward reached. to this. I think that, that cognac, armagnac, they both have a future in our drink palette. Well, and we'll, we'll see. Ooh, good color. Now, this is the That's classic. That's the color. That's the color of a burnt fuselage. This is the classic version, right? Yes, this is uh, the 1920 version, and they had cognac galore. And most drinks in France use this as a base. I'll hold that in case you want it. Okay. Now, where is the Cognac region compared to, say, the uh, Bordeaux or the... Uh, Bordeaux is just north of Cognac. Cheers. Or the Champagne region. Yeah, this is really good. God. I'm ta- well, I taste the vermouth. Which is off. good because there's a lot of flavor of the Grand Marnier and I think the Cognac. There's some... You get a taste on the tip of your tongue as well as the rest of your mouth. There's something strong. I'm thinking that's a cognac. 
It's a good drink. It's a solid drink, man. Yeah, it's, it's pretty darn solid. It's a very nice cocktail. I think uh, it has to have a cocktail. It doesn't have the burn of scotch, that's for sure, right? Yeah, scotch burns it sometimes. Have a burn. As a, and this chilled is the way to go with this thing. I think the stirring of it was very helpful. Well, it's very relaxing for me. <laughs> it was, it was a thing. I know how you like to shake things up. I do like to shake things up, but you know, I'm ready for any different thing. So th this was, this is the burnt fuselage original version. After the break, if we make it that far, the revised version. Mm, yes. W what we tend to do That's good. is after the break, do a secondary version, updated or, or downdated. The, the reality being that any drink you can manipulate. In fact, I'll tell you when we get to the second half how that one will be manipulated. And meanwhile, we have a lot of news. Did you notice that TV didn't have any shows on this week? It just had things with all, two guys and topic. people, people talking. This was a very exciting week, I think. People were going nuts. I was going nuts. Well, Everybody I know was going nuts. We're going to keep going nuts, too, because we, you know, we, we pretty much now know that uh, President Biden will be leading our country for the next four years. We think. Or as long as he la lives, and then well, let's Kamala see. Harris will take over. You know, it's funny how they, one, what's that say? One, think? Says, I won, I think. No, well, Biden Who won. Who said that? No. One guy said, I won because bullets. I said I'm the king. Well, it looks like they're sweating bullets. Um, Those aren't recent pictures. I like the ones with, when they're both smiling. They look so cute. Did you see Steve Colbert on what was it, Thursday night? I, I think, think so, did. yeah. That was a great show. He yes. was wearing black and he was he was like lashing. It was but, good. But now you it's know on Facebook. Apparently all you have to do to be president of this country is to have had a silly TV show for a while and get elected. So what are you saying? That Steve? means I'm president. Yes, you've had a silly TV show. Had a silly TV show for 11 years. You're going to have to kill me. Longer than Trump. Okay. Well, yeah. we'll have to, you can be my vice president. How about that? Well, Steve Colbert could be president. Steve Colbert had his own show where he was a Republican. Yeah, right. He played to this, he, which is really funny. He played the part of a Republican. Oh, do you want the rest of this? He's very good yeah. at it. If there's any one. You need that. You need that. Oh, yeah, look at that. So I'm president. Can I be president of vice so that I take care of all the vice? That would make me what? Vice President. Who says you don't take care of vice now? Well, sometimes you're, it melts. You're the mix master. Is it, is it sometimes the vice doesn't stay. So it's, it's go out and try this drink. I think I can still make variations. Yes. So you want to talk about the election. So you, Do you mean, I'm can't. really sad that Sochi didn't make it. I was very surprised. That Man, Sochi is such a nice person. And, uh, and now with her knowledge, I mean, she's been in there for two years. She knows a lot. She was on three committees. God, she was, the she did committee. a lot of work. She also, she was a water rights lawyer, lawyer. before that. So Still she is. knew stuff about, uh, that's why her ads meant, you know, they kept saying, don't let the government take, or give the uh, uh, land to companies to ruin it. Right. And yeah, they're trying to give away New Mexico's water. Carrie Hamlin got in. Carrie Hamlin. She's new. I'm glad that she got State in. State Senate. You can tell what side I'm on. And the other people that I contributed to pretty much yes. did it. So hopefully things will work out and we're not going to go down the toilet. Well, you know, we, we, we can't ignore the election and we can't, we can't ignore COVID. I mean, those are the two gorillas in the room. And the funny thing is they're saying, well, why is it taking so long to count these ballots? Because with COVID, everybody mailed them in. Not everybody, but right. plenty. Million, I and mean, it's incredible. More and, than yes. Yeah, and, and in many states, they weren't allowed to start counting the mail-in ballots until election day. And everybody's vote so, counts. So, That's why we tell people it's important to vote. Yes. Yeah. Hey, and you know, Trump can tell all the lies he wants to about how all these mysterious ballots are suddenly showing up. It's because they weren't allowed to count them <laughs> until election day. He didn't know where they came from. Yeah. He, you know, so he doesn't you know. know. So they, they're a mystery about and, and that had to do with work. I mean, those people were in large convention centers, and you see them taking a ballot out of the paper, out of the yeah. envelope, putting right. it down, and then incredible process, a yes. long, tedious process. Right. And they had to get to the uh, in, uh, the ballots where people voted in person first. Yes. Before they get to the mail-in or absentee, absentee ballots. Plus, we still have the ones for the military haven't come in yet from overseas. That's true. 
So it's going to take a while. And if they had to alphabetize the ballots before they count them, well then, Dave Zemont, you're out of luck. <laughs> They're, you're going to be your counted ballot at count. the end. Yeah. Better change your name to Dave Ardvark. <laughs> that would That's work. Two A's, you're right two up front. Two A's, you get right up yeah. and get counted first. Um, so that works. So you know, what with, the, about you know with the COVID, you know, we got 90,000. You're saying 90,000 coming to work just now instead of 100,000 a day. 100,000 new cases per day yeah. in, in, in just this country. <laughs> well, that's the one we care about. I mean, you know, Europe is shutting down again. Yeah. Uh, because Greece, they're having the same problem. Greece, where almost everything's outside, you know? You're on the water. You're out in a, a, an old tavern where you sit outside by the dock. There's no indoors in You're in Greece. the Parthenon. You go underneath a grapevine. It's cool. You know, so, all the original gods are from Greece. No, the original gods Greek, Greek gods. were pre -gods. Athenian. Now, that was about uh, 2500 BC. And apparently, Abraham had some kind of single god when he came from, uh, you know, well, the, Mesopotamia. Well, the Sumerians were way ahead of the Greeks. Anyway. Well, the Greeks had interesting gods because they named every, you know, that's what it was. Your gods were developed by things that you hope will give you luck. That's a good tree. Let's pray for it. Well, you know, Zeus, is, he's my kind of god right there. Zeus. Zeus. Well, you go for the strong man you god. You can't do huh? better than Zeus. I like Apollo. Uh-huh. You know, it just works better. And he had a great uh, theater in New York, Apollo. The Apollo Theater? Yeah. Yeah, he also had a great uh, uh, space program. He did. So, I mean, that's pretty good. What do you hear about Zeus? It's, it's uh, Greg Smith's middle name. Really? It is. <laughs> Greg Z. Smith. Oh, I wonder. Yes. His dad must be, who is uh, Zeus's father? Because Greg Smith's well, father it'd be Zeus named him Se Zeus. Zeus Sr. No, it was somebody like Oberon. Anyway. <laughs> What's and, this that you anyway, have next? 240,000 deaths in America uh, during this mismanaged uh, uh, pandemic. Uh, Las Cruces um, has been fairly good. It's getting a little worse, so that's why we have thicker glass. The, 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 well, the governor has re-shut down things. Yeah. And, uh, you know, but uh, like... Uh, you know, usually, speaking of you shutting the government down, yes. whatever, <laughs> restaurants are open. Uh, well, and know, they're really safe. Trump shut the government down longer than it had ever been shut down before. Yeah. Not because of the pandemic. That was before the pandemic. He was just uh, throwing a temper tantrum. Uh, but this is before he got the pandemic. He and his wife and his kid and 35 people who worked in the White House got it. And But they were able to, to take Regen, Regen Con. No, they all didn't take Regen Con. Sure they did. They didn't say that. Well, Trump said all, he let did. me ask you a question. Yeah. So when President Trump said he had COVID, because he tested positive. Yeah. He never said when he tested negative. We don't know if he tested at all. He walks to the helicopter. He's breathing sort of like I breathe when I walk out of a car, you know, yeah. really heavy. Asthma. He goes in, he's hidden for three or four days. Uh -huh. He comes out, he's 20 years younger. <laughs> How does that happen? We're there's no, on. there's no, not even, no. Not even the shots he was given. Well, he bragged uh, about taking RegenCon, which, you know, is, is made from aborted fetal cells. Which we need. That's why you need abortion, right? <laughs> I, I don't know. Huh? No, Mark? They're, they're not hypocrites, but if they need their aborted fetal cells for RegenCon, they'll take them. They'll do that. Yeah. Um, is it time for the break? Sounds like it. Anybody working? Huh? Is Dead there cells. a break? Let's take a break. I mean, we left it on fetal cells, so, you, you know, know, that's a good place to Well, you to know, 30, 36% of Americans think that... Uh, Trump's response to the COVID pandemic is good. Which is to ignore it. It's kind of good to be able to ignore something until you get it. Right. Let's or, take a break. We'll right back, Harris, with a new drink. us on channel 98 keep watching because we have so much in store for you we want to grow together your channel local and real
If we want to improve America's healthcare system, let's start by improving the health of Americans. Despite the best doctors, hospitals, and medical advancements, Americans are not as healthy as they should be. We spend too much on treatment and not enough on wellness and prevention. We need a system based on primary care. When patients have a medical home and a long-term relationship with a doctor, the result is a longer, healthier life and reduced medical costs for everyone. Let's make America a place where health is primary. Horizon Granite is here. We'll come to you to customize your kitchen and bathroom with beautiful countertops and cabinets. Find out more at horizongranite.com. Call us at 575-650-3180. Horizon Granite is here. It's here. Make yourself a beautiful home. Hi, I'm Ray Bamberg with Here on Earth. I would like to invite you for a free hearing evaluation to our office. We've been here in Southern New Mexico for 34 years, helping people hear better. And welcome back. Oh, to Double Talk on the Corona Cast. These are almost, they look almost the same color, but this is red. And uh, you have a different mask every week, Michael. I got a lot of masks, you know. Yeah, You well, need a lot. Yeah, Halloween's coming up. Oh, we it's over. It. No, we didn't miss, oh, you missed, everybody missed it. Actually, people seem to make their times good for Halloween. Kids were given wonderful things to play with and, and uh, go around with cars and get candy. Really, if it's only eating candy, right now though, you could hit most of the stores and get half price or 75% off on all the Snickers you want. Now, save it till next year. Eat it now. And you'll be way ahead. Eat it now, it works. Eat oh, it now. Should we do, do you want to say anything? Should we do the well, drink? Well, we're, we're gonna do the drink. Make the variation of the Burnt Fuse Lodge. As we always do, we make a variation of the first drink we have. And the reason that I wanted to do this drink specifically, when I saw the Armagnac as a recipe, this week was my brother-in-law's Yurtzeit, which means uh, yes. Jewish you what? Know, a- anniversary of his of what? death. Oh, of his death. Of his death. Did you light a Yurtzeit candle for him? Yes, we did. Good. But he's the guy that introduced us to Armagnac. And Armagnac is... Uh, is it available it's in stores? Like, can you find it? Yes, it is. You can't get it at Walmart, I'm sure. Maybe you can. I've looked. Armagnac is a good variation on cognac. It's a sturdy, tough, flavorful drink. Uh, we also use, like we did for the first one, I used an ounce and a half of the uh, Cerbois Armagnac. Uh, so this yes. is going to be stronger. I, I use less of everything else. <laughs> Like the, so there's like the three quarters of an ounce of Grand Marnier. Grand Marnier, which if is I have that much. Flavorful. Oh yes, I do. Look at that. Good, right? This calls for uh, three quarters of an ounce of Riesling, which I wasn't going to go out and buy Riesling because who drinks Riesling? I do. Uh, okay, well, I got a Fino Sherry, which oh. has a similar palate. Had you only said something, Michael, I would have brought my Riesling. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, I, next time I do this uh, same recipe, I'll have to ask you. So three quarters of an ounce of this wonderful, actually this is pretty good. You know, not everybody, Amontillado can do without, but this Fino Sherry, uh, may I say, at Kelly's. Oh, you got the Sherry at Kelly's? Yes, I did. I Sherry's also, good, people need to drink more Sherry. I think so, it's a good light drink. Um, this is made by Lustau, which is a Spanish company, which is the same place we got our uh, Rosé Vermouth last week from. Mm. I used and to go out with a girl named Sherry, you know. So did I. But it was different because it was a different coast. Um, so what's this one? Oh, this uh, takes the place of Lille Blanc. Uh, those of you here, it's Coqui Americano. Coqui Americano, it's we've had that on the show before. It's one of my favorite Vermouths. It's not even a Vermouth. You call, yeah, vermouth. you call it Vermouth, but it's really it just a wine, right? Well, a vermouth is wine a with herbs, wine. yes. Yeah. The thing between this and Lillet is, this is more like Lillet was before 1984. What? When what happened then? Lillet took out their uh, quinine. Oh, There's wow. quinine in it. To keep you from getting malaria? 
<laughs> well, something about the palatate. You don't want to put quinine in. So, okay, now you have to go buy quinine water and mix it. You now you have to mix it with quinine. You can use, you can use coke, the lay. My so neighbor. These. What? You don't. You need these, right? Or this one. I think I use that. Did you put this in? That's the cognac. That's the Armagnac. Okay. The, yeah, we're, we're good. I'm making sure you're just paying attention to it all. It's my job here. We'll see which is better. I mean, this could be like a strong, it's like a cognac drink with uh, just a little bit of extra flavor. So we'll see if that works. What's that? Let's talk about the Black Box Theater. This week, or right now, they, ha this is a little lighter, uh, they have a show called The Majestic Kid. And those of you who remember Mark Medoff, who recently passed away, he wrote this, this, this is one of his one plays. Of many plays he's written. And he's totally And it's popular. never done anywhere. They're doing it. They've been rehearsing it for months now because the theaters were shut down. They were rehearsing uh, virtually and so forth. And uh, so now they're going to try to do the play Zoomily. Yes, so you can sign up for that. Those of you who bought season tickets for Black Box and didn't use them up, you could use it on this venue. And it's going to be streaming all week long. Yes, that's not the way I like my theater. Uh, I need uh, to have it live. you got to go with the times. Frankly. Here. I'm clicking this. Clink it ink? Yeah. Okay. That's good too, Michael. Wow. This has more of a sock, doesn't it? I mean, this really gives you a, an it's incredible flavor palette that just that covers the entire interior. I think of I actually mouth. like this better. I think this is better. It's an improvement. It's less sweet, apparently. Yeah, it seems it's pretty to good. Be. So and, go um, to uh, nostringstheater.org. Yes, if you want to see the play online, on Zoom. And sign up. And uh, you can just click or pay for it online. Or if you have a season ticket, apparently it works the same way. Figure it out. We, we don't know how to work computers. And I guess there, there won't be an intermission, will there? There's an intermission every time you press pause. <laughs> That's so, true. And it, it, I think if you, buy, if you buy it, you can watch it any time during the week. Well, why, why would they just limit it to a week? Why can't it just always be there? And if you want to see it, you see it. Because it's a pain in the neck to do all that stuff, I would guess. No. If you want to see it, you see it. It's like pay-per-view movies. Nah. They're there. Nah. You, you, you get yourself a theater and then you work. You can't even work your phone. So what do you say? Talking about them working, uh, putting things on uh, uh, Zoom. Zoom box. I don't Zoom. Sorry. You see? Okay, well, See? then don't let them make them zoom more than they want to. <laughs> so the Allen Theaters are closed yes. now. They're not totally They're closed. closed. They, they tried to be open for a while just selling popcorn and, and overpriced sodas and things. And uh, the driving drive movies, it. they attempted. I'm sorry, that's closed. Kind but of interesting, the fact that the way they make their money in the theater is not the ticket money, it's the popcorn money. It's the concessions. Money. Yeah, they didn't make, no theater makes money on the actual film itself. Apparently the the uh, film company takes about 95% of your box. Yeah, the distributors uh, don't come cheap. Uh, but... They're going to be open once this thing is over. And sorry to say, the video foreclosed permanently. Apparently. That's a little sad. But it was really, I mean... Well, it was really, bar you yeah, know, bargain based the second run play, uh, films. It was good for us people who missed the first run, yeah. and then you get the other one cheap. But we're not the ones that had to open an entire four right. a four room theater for eight people. Yeah, right. Well, I, I always have a problem. I, I can never get to a movie the first week it comes out. That's why I miss most of the films at the Fountain Theater. Nobody oh, because they're only there it only for, goes for one week. Right. So I, I can hard, I can rarely get to a movie theater. Can't you get your engine started? Week. Get your engine started, Mark. Don't wait the whole week. And say, oh, what am I going to do? Anyway, well, I'd like, like to read the reviews. Because reviews. while you are not going to movies, there are many famous stars dying. Why is that? Well, you know what? There's a lot of birds dying. Oh, that too. A lot Damn of birds stars. are dying thanks to uh, 5G technology. It's That's zapping them out of the sky. That's according to your mainstream sign. media. It could also be insecticide. No, it's not that. That's what bees are dying of. Thank it could you, be Monsanto. could common cold. Thank you, Monsanto. Uh, the birds are dying from 5G technology. They proved Or that. COVID. And uh, COVID? They are warm-blooded creatures. Did you all. hear today that some mink farms in some place in northern Europe had to kill all their minks because they had a rare version of COVID. All their minks died. All the minks. Minks, well, you know, mink stoles. 
So, I mean, coat with... Uh, with well, COVID. Well, they killed them, so they still get the fur, right? One would think. Why not? Just zap them. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, we do want to man mention the fact that Marge Champion died. Uh, Marge and Gower Champion were uh, dancers, dancers and choreographers yeah, for way band actors. I mean, she went, goes way back to the 30s. And were you going to do music for this or what? Or what? Uh, no, but okay, we... Okay, tell us the next person who died. But we are going to mention died. Elsa Raven, no, also known as Elsa Rabinowitz. She died as well. She was known as a clock lady from Back to the Future movies. Uh, but she was in a bunch of other films. I mean, she was in Titanic. Save the clock tower. Save the That's clock tower. Right there. Mayor Wilson is sponsoring an initiative to replace that yeah, clock. Horror. Thirty years ago, lightning struck that clock tower, and the clock hasn't run since. We at the Hill Valley Preservation Society think it should be preserved exactly the way it is, as part of our history and heritage. There you go, lady. There's a quarter. Thank you. Don't forget to take a flyer. Save the clock tower. That was quite a career making. Where were we? It's kind of like a cameo, but you know, she was in uh, tons and tons of episodic television and uh, and a whole bunch of movies. Yeah, you, you may not know who she is, but uh, she's one I've of the hardest seen her working actors. Town. She's around town. <laughs> yes, yeah, oh, she was. And now she's dead. Now but, she's dead. Yeah. She died this week. Anyway, oh, there is she. Oh, wow. Yeah, and uh, she has a sweet face. <laughs> you know, and I have a soft spot in my heart for working actors. Always have. Really? Yeah. What about non-working actors? You mean like me? Yeah. Yeah. A soft spot for them? You call this an act? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Elsa. When I laughed, there was ripples of my laughter. You know, Marge Champion was 101 years old when she died That's this week. Because That's dancing keeps you healthy. And as the producer says, she probably took a lot of vitamin D3. Oh? Yeah, D3 would do it. D3, and you have to take the So booster. we're all sitting at the edge of our chairs here, just because we're not supposed to lean on them, they'll fall apart, waiting to see what is going to ensue in the next, uh, in, the, in the next show. We'll, we'll tell you who the winner is, but we're all waiting for the, the winner. winner. We know who the winner is. We know President who the Biden winner theoretically is the winner. Well, we're not uh, crossing any bridges before we have to. And, uh, and, and Mark, we'll Mark we're Kelly. We're willing to wait. Mark Kelly won Arizona. That's true. That's true. So we'll see what the balance of power turns into. And we hope it's all for the best. We well, always hope it's for the best. We always want that. And not for any people to be subjugated to any torture. <laughs> well, uh, no, that, right. that's what uh, the Border Patrol is for, to torture people. Uh, Put them in cages. Yeah. With that. Anyway, and hope to see them. you next week. Hope things are fine and uh, you are fine. And keep breathing. And if you're fine enough to join us next week, we'll be here. And if you want to be on the show, come on. You can be on the show. We let Michael on, so that means anybody can uh, be on. Yeah, it's true. And, oh, oh, <laughs> it's over. Oh, oh.